video? Yep. There we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Everything is live now. I feel like this one's so far away, but that's okay. <clears throat> so we have Instagram and YouTube. And we're so super excited for everyone to be on here with us. That's right. Are you excited? We are so excited. And guess what? We holding hands. For those of you who have been following our story, you know that this is a special moment. We're so excited. So I know people are probably just getting on because we, I told them, I told them on the video that we would be on Instagram and YouTube, but I know it takes like a quick second. I just want to adjust yeah. this though while everyone's getting on. Ah, uh, where it's straight. Does it look straight? Mm -hmm. Oh, the light. Well, <laughs> I knew it looked dark or something. Defined straight. Oh, nice. Now you can see us. Now hopefully you can see us. We might look a little bit brighter. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, babe, you look lovely. <laughs> Oh, y'all, we're so excited. Okay, we're just adjusting things because I want everyone to have a great time watching and I want this to be tilted down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> so we're so super excited to be with y'all and hanging out with y'all. It's been a big week for us. Sure has. And um, for those of you who have been following Girl Find for a while or, or been following me, you have probably, I know some of you have said like, wow, it's been so fun to follow along on the journey. And after all these years, so you actually get into a relationship and then get engaged. And so right. for those of you who have been following Girl Define or following my journey for like years now, I'm super excited that I get to share this moment with y'all. And those of you who are just newer to Girl Define or newer to our story, we're super excited that you're here too, because we want to keep, keep sharing. So. Yeah, this has been a long time coming, has it not? Has it not? Hey, it how, has. How old are you? <laughs> 29 years, and this is the first time this happened. That's right. That's right. It's a That's big That's true. Deal. I've never had it's one of these. Deal. So, oh, y'all, I cannot wait to tell you uh -huh. the story and for, for us to share, but I just want to make sure that hopefully... I'm going to do this a little. You're gonna move a little just bit. Just a little bit this way. Okay, what I do just don't want it to be leaning like this. I want it to be straight up and down. Straight up and down. Yeah. Like, um, like this. Like, yeah, not tilted. Oh. Like that. Okay. okay. Hopefully, y'all can hear it. Does that make sense? I just felt like I was too much. Oh. I was too much of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just don't want anyone. I know some people are still getting on, and I don't want to start. Um, because I know someone said they missed the notification, but we're oh, no. super excited that y'all are on here. Super excited. And just so you know, we can't really see the comments because the cameras are kind of far away. So if you're asking questions or anything right now, we can't really see on YouTube. I can't see anything and that's okay though. Um, but we will post this video to Instagram live for the next 24 hours and YouTube will be up permanently. So you'll ah. be able to rewatch this video anytime, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, <laughs> share it with your grandma, whoever, and share this story. And for us, it's really special because then we'll have it forever. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, we are thrilled. This okay. is ab an absolute, okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're still This talking. is a thrill. It's so great. <laughs> All right. Do you want to start? So what do you think? <laughs> yeah. I think that we should, uh, we should tell them the story. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to tell you the whole story from... Beginning? <laughs> yeah. To end. From the beginning to the oh, end. And so the beginning something. starts with him because he's the one that decided that he wanted to keep I was excited and he kept wanting to be excited. So <clears throat> All right, here's how it, here's how it goes. About two months into our relationship, give or take. Yeah. I don't remember the exact day, but I think somebody wrote it in her journal. I have it somewhere. Yeah. I told Bethany we were at a wonderful, authentic Thai restaurant, as you do, and um, I told her that I wanted to marry her, and that I was sure, and I was very, very specific about that, and that was a definite uh, uh, update or upgrade in our relationship and just the way we were talking, and so uh, that kind of started it all, because the whole point of that stage of the relationship before engagement was to figure out whether or not we should be married. So about two months or less, I feel like it, it was, was less. It was pretty fast. And I have had it all figured out. I definitely wanted to marry her, 
and now it was just a matter of uh, getting on the same page about that. And you weren't, at that point, you weren't asking me to marry you. I was not saying, yeah, no. Not you at the just, Thai restaurant. Hey, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't saying, like, will you marry me? He just wanted me to know, like, I am so there. I know I don't have any yeah. more questions that I need answered. I'm so committed, but I, I know we need to keep getting to know yeah. each other. Because then she'd and have... I'm shocked. I was like... Yeah. Then you'd have some time to be able to get used to the idea. <laughs> and uh, and that's actually how, that's how it happened. So we had a, a couple things that we wanted to do before we got engaged. So even though I had expressed to her my desire to be married to her and that I was sure... Um, we, we were reading books, going to classes, um, like uh, pre-engagement counseling, stuff like that. Lots um, of things. A lot, a lot of things like that. And so good, though. I really loved it. Yeah, it highly recommended. And, and I've grown, if you uh, go back to uh, a few months ago, I wasn't this convinced that this is a great way to do relationships. Oh, I really think I that this yeah. is great. You know, I thought it was one way. That, you know, this is the way we're doing it. But I, I really think that yeah. this has created a, a strength in our relationship. But that's off the point. The no, point, I like that point. That was that a, good a good one. Point. Yeah. All right. He's sure smart thing. So, uh, anyway, um, we were doing those things. One of the things we wanted to do before being engaged was go visit my family. Because she hadn't been with my family since uh, we'd been in a relationship. And so we wanted to go and... She had met them previously a few years back, but oh, yeah. we wanted mm -hmm. to actually kind of officially, like as a couple, go and visit them, which we did. This was not that April. long ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, April. So this last month, and uh, it was fantastic. And yeah. she was sweeter than I. And y'all might have seen because I posted some videos and pictures oh. and and everything. So really quick on what he was saying. Yeah. Seven years, I was probably like seven years ago yeah. is when we met actually at a church in Fredericksburg. And so we went there and I went there, his family was there. And so I remember having multiple conversations with his sisters and with his mom. So it's not like they were strangers to me and him and I have known each other for quite a while, which is why we can be in a seventh month relationship and be engaged because we, we were really, really good friends. Like our friend group for like probably a solid two years before we even got into a relationship. And so all of that leading up until this moment has mm -hmm. been all a part of the journey, you know? So when you go into a relationship having known someone, you know, you went to church with them and their family and then you were super good friends, like on a close level, like they're in your home, your friends mm -hmm. are friends, it really makes a difference. So I think that yeah. is just a detail that might be helpful. <laughs> that's a good point, yes, yes, that's a really good point. And so we basically had a conversation two months ago or so, yeah. Mm -hmm. we went for a walk and we were talking about the timeline and specifically about, okay, like, do we really want to get married in October, which is the month that we'd been talking about. So if we want to get married, do we want to get married in October? Are we still thinking of that? Now, at this point in the discussion, we're not engaged yet back then. And so we're having a conversation like about when we would be getting married, but we don't know when we would be getting engaged. And so it was a very interesting conversation because uh, um, one of the things that we expressed to one another was our desire to not have an engagement that was really uh, shorter than four months. We wanted at least a four month engagement. Yeah. That was specifically something that um, Bethany expressed. And so I'm on the walk thinking to myself like, oh, we are running out of time. Like. We need to, we, I need to, I need to get on this because I, for sure, I do want to get married in October, but I was thinking that maybe three months for an engagement, that would give me a little bit more time for, <laughs> you know, get the ring together. <laughs> so here, let me yeah, jump yeah, in yeah, and say yeah, something. Yeah. So we did not want to have a very long engagement. Like I didn't really want like longer than six months. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really want any less than four months. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just, you know, like if we were going to get, engaged it was like we know if we're getting engaged we know we want to get married like that's we're committing to that and so i don't i just the idea for both of us of having like a long engagement you didn't really like that oh either. no shorter the better yeah. yeah but for me i I'm was like, for three months even. yeah <laughs> you would be okay probably with three months or you but know it's, like, it's, it's like, just hard it, yeah. it would be really stressful and just with all the stuff that's going on with girl define right now and like just a lot of busyness of life that I've already committed to, it would just make it super hard if it were any shorter than that. So yeah. it was kind of like having just an open and honest conversation. Like we were getting to that point where we're pretty sure like this is 
this is it. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of have to have a conversation. Like, are we really wanting to get married this year or not? Because if we do want to get married this year, we kind of have to get serious about that. And if not, then we can just like chill and relax. So <laughs> that was kind of the conversation. Just more like, you know, we know why we're here. This isn't like a game. Like we're yeah. clearly here for a very specific purpose. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's a good, that's a really good clarification. Yes. Um, and so there were a few things left undone at that point. So we got, we got on it. I went, we went and visited my family. Yeah. We finished out uh, two courses and we did this in a matter of, I guess, weeks or so. Pre-engagement courses. Pre-engagement courses. And um, we knocked that out pretty fast. And then we got back from my family's. That was the last thing yeah. that had to be done before we got engaged. And we'd already talked about this, like after this, after this. There's thing. nothing left. And so I'm, I'm, what's going through my mind is like, I thought engagements were supposed to be a surprise. This is starting to be not a surprise. And so, so it, um, I had to kind of think of, oh, okay. So how are we going to make this special? How is it still going to be, a, you know, an engagement and a specific like moment in time, but we kind of see it coming and it, it, it can only happen and like because of our conversations, it can only happen within like a three month, a three week span. Like it can't really be any more than any that. Any later than that. Any yeah. later than that. And so for sure she would expect it within that. So at that point it was like, okay, well, where, how do we go about this so that it's still special? And uh, so the brilliant idea, yes? No, that's wonderful. Was to uh, capitalize more on the anticipation of the thing rather than oh, the yeah. surprise itself. And so, totally. You know, you saw it coming oh, yeah. from a million years oh, well, away. Well, of course, I saw it coming yeah. from a million years away because I, we both know, like, we have a conversation. Like, yeah. okay, there's nothing else we want to do before getting married, you know? And I, yeah. I appreciate that. I'm much more of like an open, black and white type of person where it's like, okay, like, I don't, yeah. you know? And so for me, no, and being able to anticipate engagement and knowing that it's coming is not like a disappointment or like, oh, I wanted it to be a complete surprise. Yeah. You know, it's like I had no idea the details or the date that it would happen, yeah. but I knew he was going to propose eventually because it's like, that's why he's here. <laughs> yes, it this wasn't is why really he's a secret, here. like, oh, I wonder, does he want to marry me? Does he not? You know, yeah. it's like, I totally knew he did. And so, it, and that, it totally worked out that way, and it was totally us, you know, to do something like that where it wasn't totally a surprise. Now, Zach and Kristen, it's totally different. They, uh, oh, yeah. um, Bethany's sister, Kristen, girl defined, um, Zach proposed to her totally more of a, a the surprise oh, kind of mode. She had no Christian idea. Christian was shocked. It was, um, yeah, it was it was a much different. So yeah. it definitely can happen both ways. We went yeah. more for the anticipation than the so shock. What happened behind the scenes that I didn't know? Like what yeah. happened? Like starting with like you. What were the steps you started to take? Because you had to do a lot of stuff behind the scenes to actually propose. Yes. So like, what was happening? Well, I I got to get that ring right. Yeah, and so I. Uh, that was probably one of the very first things. Before you talked to my dad? Okay. <laughs> okay, after I talked to her dad. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I don't yes. know, actually. I didn't know that. I, okay. Yes, I'd, I'd forgotten about that. Yes, I talked to her dad, of course. Um, we meet uh, yes. Thursdays. Yeah, and he said, yeah, he, he said yes. And he said, we would be honored and all that. Uh -huh. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> It's just so My funny because in, in that conversation, it was kind of like, who, you know, he said, you know, yes, you honored, you have the clearance and all that. And, and it was funny because it's like, I don't know what you talk about after that. I don't know if you're like, like I'm so marry you. you like the fajitas? Like, uh, this is great. Okay, great. I got a good job or something. Anyway, so um, then it was basically go, go, go to get that ring and get the plan going and how I was going to ask her and everything like that. So I met with the, um, um, with several of her sisters and, uh, her mom and, um, kind of hashed it out. Like, what should we do? Uh, what would Bethany like? What sorts of things? And they got so excited and, um, and, uh, so basically put together a plan to be able to, uh, propose to her. So the first thing was the ring. Now, the ring, she had showed me several months ago a picture, which was like a Pinterest photo of an old filigree, early 1900s platinum diamond cluster ring. If that isn't a mouthful. I didn't even know it was She showed me, she's like, okay, babe, you probably, probably might be surprised. This is a little different. Here it is. 
And she showed it to me and time stopped as I studied the photo. I was like, this might be the only chance I gave. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> and I told her that, um, and I saw, I think I saw the little tagline or something and then memorized the URL or something like that. And then um, the, the web address or something and then looked it up later like, oh. <laughs> uh, well, and, and I know a lot of people don't like, for, it's hard because like, you, I, my sisters knew of a ring that I really liked and he doesn't like, I think for a guy, it's like, you're going to do all this work and you really, you kind of want to know that sh you're in the ballpark of something she might like. Sure. And so for yeah, me, absolutely. like, I was like, well, I might as well, this wasn't even when we were talking about engagement, but more just casually like, Oh, I saw this ring once. I really liked it. Yeah. Um, I'm super like less traditional and not as like, Very much. you know, like go into the ring shop and just like pick one off the counter. It's like, I'm really unique and different in those sorts of ways. And so I just wanted him to like, you know, at least feel like he had a direction to work with. And so, but I had no, I like, I did not even think that he would like remember to, or like, like try to like get something so similar. You know, I just thought maybe like, Oh, this might help him at least shoot in the, a ballpark of something I would like, yeah. you know? So he's not like, what does she want? Gold? Does she want white? Yeah. Does she want silver? Like, does she want one diamond? Like, you know, it's super hard. And so I wasn't expecting him to mm -hmm. get me a ring that looks just like it, but it was just like, well, maybe this might be helpful. <laughs> and it was, it was. I took the, I took the picture to several places for, uh, to be exact, I guess. And, and four different jewelers, both small and big. And to try to kind of get a bearing on what type of ring this was. And, uh, so over the, course I learned a lot about the ring in the photo which is an antique ring and the mm -hmm. type of diamonds that was was in it um, uh, that were in it basically the without getting too technical generally the diamonds in probably most commercial engagement rings that you would go into a store and buy um, have a, the more um, right. called like round brilliant diamonds they're American round brilliant diamonds and they're they tend to really be shiny and generally very desirable and stuff like that because a lot of a lot of girls are going to want that just that really shiny diamond ring. Well, this one's a little different. She wanted something with some some personality, and these a lot of these diamonds happen to be old mine cut or old European cut diamonds, which are just a little bit more tricky to find or tricky to get because they just don't cut them like that anymore. And so um, I talked to a bunch of a bunch of jewelers and basically tried to get a sense for how feasible would this be I have three weeks basically can you make something like this and uh, can you find diamonds that have that sort of personality and uh, ultimately a few a few attempts and didn't work out so well but then I found this one great shop um, that's actually in town that's a little bit smaller and uh, they do lots and lots of custom stuff. And so I went there and mm -hmm. uh, they totally did it. <laughs> and we'll tell you more about it though when we get to that part because I don't uh, want to tell you what I thought about it until we get that yeah, part. Yeah, because, yeah, exactly. And so plan, and then I had to think of a place. And so I thought, well, would it not be quaint to propose in the town where we met? <laughs> and so I thought, Fredericksburg. Just Fredericksburg, Texas. She been in Fredericksburg. And uh, I'll, t Maybe you take a little bit, um, tell, talk about, well, where are we at? The day. Okay. Well, let's fast forward to the day. The fast forward to the day. Okay. So Saturday, this past Saturday is the day that he had picked out and it was a perfect day. My family had been gone for like the two weeks right before that. So I knew we yeah. probably weren't going to get engaged while my family was gone because yeah. I feel like that would probably not work with all my sisters and family and everyone, they'd probably want to be there. <laughs> like yes. at least to celebrate afterwards, not like they're there. Yes. So Saturday morning comes and he had invited me out to celebrate seven months of our anniversary on Saturday, oh. even though it wasn't technically Saturday, it was a few days before. And so he's like, let's go celebrate our seven month anniversary on Saturday. And I'm like, oh, like uh -huh. a super big celebration. And he's like, yeah, I mean, seven months is a big it's deal. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Wear your favorite dress. Like. <laughs> so he told me to wear my favorite dress. He said that I, you know, just that whatever for me feels cute that, because I, you know, you want to feel cute. So he said, you you know, this is a day where you cute. want to feel cute. So do whatever right. you need to do to feel cute for yourself. And yeah. so I'm like, 
So I'm starting to like, kind of like freak out, like, oh my goodness, I think that it's going to be that day. And so I didn't really ask anyone, like, oh, my sisters mm -hmm. or anything, because I really just wanted it to be a surprise. So Friday night came and we were together. And then Friday, Friday, I actually invited all of my sisters over to my house because I was like, I think that it might happen and I want them to be here like getting ready with me in the morning and so Kristen came over and well the girls are already here and so then we had coffee together and donuts everyone needs donuts before they get engaged and then at 10 30 he arrived and I was upstairs and then I think like Sue or Bex or someone yells out they're like Bethany your boyfriend's here and he's dancing outside because he's like oh so yeah. excited yeah. and you were just like going crazy <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, you gotta dance before the big day. So I was dancing, and and uh, basically I come inside, and Bethany comes downstairs, and she's in this beautiful red poppy dress that she got, and that was new, and that she just she just looked like perfect. the cutest girl in the entire <laughs> world, and so she was feeling super cute. I was feeling she was super cute, and you look so handsome. I mean, <laughs> uncomparable. <laughs> She was just absolutely gorgeous, and so, um, and so we hopped in the car. Everybody was so excited, like happy seventh month. And you know? we're like, like, we're like there. It's, it's obvious, but you can't say it. As if you don't say it, then the magic still is yes. retained. So we get in the car, and I get in there, and there's a little present and a super sweet card sitting on the dashboard area, and there's coffees for both of us, fresh water. Just everything perfect. And so I'm like, oh, I think this is gonna be the day. Like trying not to freak out, just like, oh, you know, and, and he was, was being so, so sweet. sweet. She was absolutely adorable and just like trying to figure it out. She would go quiet sometimes when we were driving, just trying to like figure out where we were going. Because he didn't tell me anything. I didn't know where we were going, oh, what we were doing. I just knew that I was in my cute red poppy dress and uh -huh. I didn't have a ring on my finger uh -huh. and we were heading out. And so we started driving. I had no idea where we were going. And then he let me open my card and it was so sweet. And then he let me open my little gift and it was uh -huh. just a super sweet, thoughtful gift. Uh -huh. And I drank my mocha because I love a mocha and it was delicious. And then we headed to Fredericksburg. Yes. And we pulled into, we went way out to this like super adorable little restaurant. Yes. Called, it, called the Fredericksburg Herb Farm. And, uh, it was just this like cute bread and, uh, bed and breakfast with a uh, like a Little dining restaurant. area, yeah, restaurant. And so, so we cute. went to the restaurant part of it, and uh, it was so cute. So we walk in, and I'm like, oh, you know, and I'm as a girl, it's like I don't know. Like he could be proposing like here, he could be proposing at the end of the day. Like I'm on my toes the entire day because I literally have like no idea what is happening. Yeah. So we go into the <laughs> little restaurant. And it's like, super adorable, and then we the waitress takes us to the back table. And there's flowers on the table already with another gift and another card. Yes. Things like already custom set up for us. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know? So I'm like, oh, like, like so going crazy in my brain and like freaking out, but just like trying not to freak out. Like, oh, I can't believe it. I don't know. I'm going to get engaged today, probably, you know? And it's just crazy to think about. Like, ah. So that was super, super fun. And lunch was delicious. We got all sorts of delicious things. And, um, so before the food came though, the food was taking forever to get to us. Like it really was, it was taking a long time. And so he started to get like, he started to seem like he was kind of like getting a little stressed. Mm. And so I'm like, oh, we must need to be somewhere. Cause he's like, oh, I hope the food comes soon. And then the food came, but then something must've changed. Cause he was like, kind of relaxed again. Like, oh, we got Cause, time. Cause the food came. It was going to take a lot longer. I wanted to kind of get on and talk to the people and be like, <laughs> where are you, yeah. bro? <laughs> so <laughs> they brought it out. I, I, we were on a little bit of a schedule. And I didn't know why. And she had an inkling why. So uh, we um, ate and then got out of there. And then what happened? And so we got back into the car and I'm like, I mean, I had no idea. Like we could walk over to like a cute area and he could propose. It's like, I just am so on my toes. And so that's we true. get back in the car and he's starting to get like kind of a little yeah. bit more quiet and thoughtful, almost like the moment's going to come. And so we start driving and we drive like 20 minutes past kind of like further away from where we were. Mm -hmm. And we start heading like towards the outer like country-ish parts of Fredericksburg. Yes, there are, um, there are these really cute, um, really cute places with like some woods and 
cute little ponds and yeah. stuff like that. Vineyards and, and vineyards just and restaurants and, and all of this yeah, 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 amazing yeah, yeah. stuff. And so we pull in. Yes, we pulled into one of those vineyards and got out. And uh, it was it was kind of like, are you ready? Are you I know. Ready to go? You know. He was asking yeah. me, like, are you ready? And How I'm do you like... feel? Like, all of those questions. Because I was pretty sure this was this was she the moment. She just absolutely, she was so sweet. Her personality and everything was just like, just all anticipation. Like she was, oh, just, was such a big deal. Yeah. And I was just feeling like, yeah. How are you feeling? I was like, this is it. And this is awesome. And you were so ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was ready. And, um, and so we get out of the car and we start, he, there's like people eating at like the little restaurant and people just like taking pictures and looking around because the place was just like to die for adorable. And so then there's like this little lake and pond, which if you've seen our engagement pictures, you know. Yes. So there's this cute little like lake pond thing, like away from the people completely, mm -hmm. like further, almost like mm -hmm. these adorable white picnic tables scattered throughout the woods, just adorable. And so we start walking through, like not even on the sidewalk, just like through the, like, down through the trees and then all of a sudden we just happen upon this adorable table sitting in the middle of everything with flowers on it in the middle of nowhere yeah and then um a note sign thingy on the table that says reserved and then he's like turn it over so i turn over the sign and then there's this super sweet letter to me and then he ends it with just saying are you ready and i'm like ready and so i'm just like totally freaking out of my brain because i'm like oh my goodness like the moment like I'm 29, I've been, like, this moment is never coming, like, it's just, it never has come, and I just feel like, how can this be, like, how can I be here, like, this is too good, like, this is just too amazing, and too perfect, and too much, like, I never imagined I'd be in this moment with someone that I love so much, and want to be with so much, and that it's, like, actually happening to me, like, probably, like, a lot of you girls, it feels like it always happens to other people, but it just never happens to you, and so you kind of feel like your moment in that way will never come, and so that's totally how I felt, so it was, like, in that moment, realizing it was actually about to happen was just so crazy. Yeah, what else, talk, talk, tell them a little bit more about that. So you, did you feel, did you feel nervous as far as like, oh, he's gonna ask? Like, did you feel any type of like, uh, no. am I sure about this? Oh, like no. any of that, anything So like that? it was, I felt 100%, 100 million percent sure. A lot of the stuff, like the pre-engagement counseling that we had done, just being super intentional mm -hmm. with all of our conversations yeah. and really praying at a lot and seeking outside wisdom. I just felt like 100% this was what God had for me. I felt like this was 100% the, like what I, my future and I couldn't be more excited. And so in that moment, I think it was also overwhelming to feel like, wow, I have no questions. Yeah. I have no concerns. I know my family's so supportive. I know this is such a good thing and I have so much peace in my heart to go, forward with this and so I think that's what was so overwhelming because I couldn't imagine myself being in that moment and feeling that much peace just because I had never been there you know you can't really know it if you hadn't been there and so it was just like <gasps> like so overwhelming and because she gave such a that's that's the that's the uh vibe that she gave off was this like just anticipation like totally just excited I was a hundred percent comfortable in the situation because I was so I was so secure and and free to just move forward with what I had planned for her, and so that that I really I really think I don't think of it enough, but that really that made it for me it made it so it made it go with such ease because I knew a hundred percent that you wanted this to happen, yeah. and so. Um, that was really nice. Not every guy is gonna get that, and so I, I just, I really, that We're was amazing. Fans. And so you, you really, you really made she, just what she had in her personality at that time. I, it was, it could not have been more perfect. Mm. She could not have been more like the perfect, uh, the perfect attitude <laughs> to do anything like this with. You know, it was a really sweet moment, yeah. like really special. We just, we yes. prayed a lot even before, just like not like we just would pray for our future and just even for the moments of the day that we would get engaged since we knew eventually it would come just praying that god would really like give us peace and just joy and delight in in the big moments of our future because it's you want to just really be so in the moment so we're at that little table that says reserved and then it says are you ready and so i'm like oh you know and so then he says let's go over this direction and so which is start, like nowhere which is like nowhere into the woods like 
nothing. And so into the woods. Into the woods by the lake. And so then we start walking over and there's this big oak tree. And then when we come around it, I see his ukulele leaning against the oak tree. And in my head, I was like, oh my goodness, this is totally the moment because I know he's probably gonna sing a song to me before proposing. And that's gonna be like the most special moment. And so then we get over there and he's super sweet and he's just like, all right. So then he's like, okay, you stand right there. And then he pulls out his ukulele and he doesn't really say anything else yet. He just starts singing. And so he first, he sings postcards, which is our fate, like our little, like, our song, I guess, like our favorite little song, um, and kind of like warm up and I'm like, oh, it's super sweet and I love it. And I'm like, it's so great. And then he sings another song. And so I asked him if he would play it for y'all. So this is the song that he wrote for me and sang. <sighs> you know, it was a big moment. <sighs> By the oak tree. By the big oak tree. Bethany. So you have a lot of fans in your life. You never know how you're going to respond in that moment because you know you don't really get it many once in your life and so i was just so overwhelmed in the moment i was just like, like crying because it was just so perfect and so special and so sweet and i don't even remember anything you said i looked at her and i said bethany lynn i love you will you marry me <laughs> and so you know but you don't remember that i don't remember she was she she's um when I got down on one knee, she covered her face almost immediately. <laughs> and uh, I was just thinking like, this is it. Mm. And uh, so I asked you and she said, I said, of course. And I was like crying. She and then... was crying and I was just thinking like, this could not be more perfect. Mm. She is the cutest, sweetest girl in the entire mm. world. And I love her. <laughs> then I got to say that I love her because that's something yeah. we hadn't been doing. So I was like, I love you, Bethany, I love you, I love you. She <laughs> kept telling me love oh, you. Oh, like a lot. I had a quota, you know? <laughs> I <had laughs> been starved of telling okay. her that I love So her. the other part that was shocking is because one, I'm like, it's this surreal moment where you're like, oh my goodness, like I am literally, he's proposing to me right now. Like this moment I've been wait, like wondering if it would ever come in my life, like my entire life. And now he's down on one knee. This is the moment. It's just like, I mean, when you have so long to think about it and you're like, you know, 29 and you're like, just never imagined it would come. And then it's with someone, your best friend and like the person you want to for sure spend forever and ever with. And you couldn't think of anyone in the world you'd want to be with different. It's like, that's perfect. And then 
other part that was so, so shocking is that I really had, even though I had shown him a picture of that ring like a long time ago, I had no idea. Like I did not in my ever living mind think that he would go and get basic like, like replicate the ring, replica, re duplicate the ring, whatever. And basically like try to recreate, like make or get one of those for me. And so I'm looking at it and I'm just shocked because I'm looking at the ring box that he opened and it's like literally looks exactly like the ring on Pinterest that I had pinned literally like back in high school. So this was probably like 12 years ago. I had seen this ring and wow. it was just my all time favorite ring. You know, it was always like my dream ring. Like, Oh, if I could pick a ring, like, you know, in all the world that I want for an engagement ring, it would be a ring that looked like that. But of course, you know, you just never think that you get like your dream ring would ever come true. Cause it's just like, that's too perfect, you know? And so he was so sweet though. And he really did. He wanted to make my dreams come true. And so, it's like super special and so thoughtful. He's just, just like super, super special and can like <laughs> consider it like so kind in that way. Like anything, like I would have been so excited for anything else and would have been so happy. But the fact that like he went way out of his way to get, make this custom ring for me is just like so overwhelming. And so basically I, I want to show it to y'all, but it's basically all on the top. It's instead of one big diamond, it's like a kind of like a cluster, like one in the middle and then more surrounding it with them mixed in. So it makes almost like a big kind of like chunky looking clustery diamond chunk <laughs> rather than just one. So on the top, I think there's 41. 43. On the top and then on the side. Oh, oh, oh. So like how many? Yeah, you're right. 40, 40. Okay, so 41 on the top and then two on the side. So 43 total. So instead of like one big diamond, it's like all like different ones. And so it's like, that's a lot of diamonds to have on the top, but it's just like a different style of doing it. And so it makes it look more of like, oh, what is that? Cause from different angles, it just looks like almost like this diamondy surface. But then when you get up close, you can really see the pattern of it all and stuff. And so that's all on the top. And then on the sides is this filigree, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like twisting and it's like raised almost. And so it's like raised on this little like vintagey looking mm -hmm. siding. That's all like windy and beautiful. And then there's two little diamonds on the side. And then on the band, the sides of the band is like hand engraving, like swirly things to make it look just super vintage and unique. And then on the inside, he had a note engraved that says, I love you, Bethy. And so it's just like, Oh, I have to show you. Okay. I'll show each of you. Okay. Cause there's, um, two different ones. Okay. So here is for this one. <laughs> Here's the ring. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so there's the siding. The lights are really bright. Um, and then there's the um, top of it. And then there's a little note. I don't know if y'all can see it. So I'll show y'all over here. There it is. <laughs> it's just really, really pretty. So it's perfect. And I still, every time I look at it, I'm just like, I can't believe it. Like, oh my goodness. And so I'm just like still shocked out of my ever living mind. <sighs> Everybody, I love her more today than I've ever loved her. Sorry. Ever. Wow. I just exploded my drink. This was actually a really sweet thing that I was saying just now. It was great. <laughs> I'm serious, and, and I think just being engaged to her and that proposing and that whole experience was just like drew our hearts so oh, much yeah. more close together, even more than they were before. And I just, um, I was a hundred percent on top of the world. Just mm -hmm. I, it was it could not have been more perfect and uh, That's totally how I felt then. That's how I feel now and uh, I was I was absolutely just blown away that that something that so much could kind of go wrong or not You know it's the guy maybe could have missed putting the ukulele there or could have put it on a different tree or something You know because so many different lot of things that had to come yeah. together and um, we had a photographer hidden um, that took some photos and uh, that was pretty cool too. Yes, and it was uh, pretty cool. I so had no idea. I didn't know that he was had anyone taking pictures. And so mm -hmm. I thought for sure that it was just like us. And I, because I had mentioned something earlier on in our relationship, like, oh, for sure I don't want anyone. Like, I'm just not the type that wants like friends popping out of the bushes and family, like, oh, yeah. You know, it's like just so not my style. And so we wanted it to be more of a private moment with just us. And so, I had mentioned something that I didn't want, like, like my, you know, like someone like Rebecca or Alyssa or someone like popping out, like, oh, I'm taking pictures, you know, and they wouldn't want to do that either. But it was like, I just wanted to know that it was going to be just us. But what I would have wanted was exactly what he did, but I never told him this, that I would, it would like, would die to have pictures of in the moment, maybe just not like 
someone that we knew super well like oh look they're they get engaged and so he was so sweet and basically i had no idea that he had arranged for a photographer to be there hiding like behind a tree literally taking pictures of our engagement which is like the sweetest in the entire world because i was so in the moment that i just don't remember it very well and so to be able to look on the picture at the pictures and be like oh my goodness that was that moment and then it helps me remember it and then i can just treasure it forever and so we're sitting there after the engagement we go and there's like this cute picnic table by all of our stuff and we're sitting there and then um this girl that i knew but like not super well like like not really well at all um she that's a photographer an amazing photographer she like comes walking over and she's like oh, are you all ready to take pictures and i had no idea at that point that anyone had been taking pictures of our engagement mm -hmm. and so he's like oh can we just have a few more minutes and then she like leaves because we were still very much like in the moment and so then i'm like wait what like who is she and what's going on and and then he's like she said she took pictures of our entire engagement of me singing to you on the ukulele and of me proposing and now we're gonna go get pictures right now and i was just like that's perfect i can't believe it and i was just so excited because i had no idea but you were pretty set on like you were set on having a photographer like you were pretty excited about i mean you thought of it obviously i had thought of it yes yes i had um it was a little bit more complicated but it worked out very well and actually turned out to be not that difficult to get the perfect person mm. she's great shout that out to perfect. andrea Coniac. Coniac. yes she did such she's a good fantastic. job we tagged her in the photo that we posted of us but she was amazing yeah. and just so sweet it's so easy to work with because it's like you're in this moment where it's like so special and you just have to have the right person for it and I, I just like everything from who she was to the way she took pictures was like just so incredible and I just felt so comfortable and like you know I barely know what's going on so I'm like I feel so awkward like posing like uh, you know and so she was helping us she's like okay <laughs> do this do this with your hands this and, sounds good yeah like we're both like yeah because we're just so excited and like brains are kind of like gone and so she was super sweet and so we actually went over you were great dude. <laughs> she was absolutely great I feel like I was the awkward one so right, right after we get engaged with all the freshness of the excitement in the moment we get to go over and take like have a photo shoot and That's take right. pictures that's right and it was amazing and so i posted a bunch to my bethany baird my instagram and then i posted some to girl to find but i'll try to post more because we just got him back so we have like 70 engagement pictures and so then the day doesn't end it's like 3 30 at this point and then what happened then we went to uh, back to drove back to san antonio and uh went to this really fun place fondue restaurant called the melting pot which some of y'all may have been to because yeah. it's in other cities. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, one of the reasons we went there was, you don't know this, but originally I had a reservation for a place in Bernie called oh, really? The Creek Restaurant. And if any of y'all have been to The Creek Restaurant, I have not. But um, the city, Bernie, which is kind of nearby Fredericksburg, maybe yeah. about 30 minutes, um, I had gotten a reservation there. It looked really cute and they got us a table, you know, they were able yeah. to just, Well, I found out that <laughs> later on i checked it and i was like oh my goodness this is mostly seafood oh and so i had to quick scramble to find another really like spot because yeah exactly and so i was just like oh this will not do we <laughs> must find something else so melting pot we've been to before and um secluded boots which is really important <laughs> Because, you know, to be able to share these special Enjoy moments the together. Moment. And so it, didn't, it felt, um, you know, like we could um, talk. We could and talk and enjoy. Yeah, exactly. And like this, like, I love it. For like a million times. You're like, I, I love you. <laughs> and so, that's what we but, did. Okay, then, no, but if we walked uh, up to the table and there was you know, the okay. biggest bouquet at the oh, table, another uh, gift, uh, chocolate covered strawberries, all uh, sitting right there, ready to go. I'm like, the day just keeps getting more amazing and the more about deep fondue it's like oh but am i right she gives and gives and gives and gives and gives and gives and pours herself out for all y'all and for me and for her family and everybody and she deserves so much more she deserves so much more than even what she got mm -hmm. but i'm just i just wanted to tell her how much i loved her and show her with those things that so that she could actually know um, you know, have a wonderful experience, mm -hmm. you know? It was a wonderful yeah. experience. And so that doesn't end the day though. So then we 
eat and it's so wonderful. We call his family on the way home because they don't live here. And so we get to tell them some of the story. And then yes. we, um, so we talk to them and share the news with them because we wanted them to know like of the official announcement before anyone else. And so we get to talk to them a little bit and then we drive home and then we pull mm -hmm. up and then we go inside and my entire family is literally here with surprise, surprise and a banner and decorations. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, taking pictures and videos. And so they were all there to celebrate and just celebrate the moment. And so that was so fun and super exciting. Well, tell about the shirt you gave me. She gave oh. me this cute shirt after we got engaged. She's like, oh, good, do I go to the car and bring this gift? And so I went right to the car and brought this rewinding. wrapped gift. Yeah, I wore it to the party. So she got me the shirt that said, best fiance ever. <laughs> I'll try to post a picture afterwards because I knew we were probably going to get engaged. So and so I kind of just wanted to prepare a little. So I ordered this shirt like just off Amazon that said best fiance ever. And then we're just super sweet cards. So because you he, can't get that shirt for yourself. I wanted him to feel special too, yeah. you know, because it's like mostly so much like about the girl. And so I was like, I want him to feel girl. special. So then when we came home, he had changed and put that shirt on. And so when we came in, he had like the best fiance ever shirt right. already on because we right. were fiancés now. That's right. But she gave me the shirt. I did not buy it for myself. We were ready to be fiancés, by the way. Like we, we were, were so ready. We were so ready to be fiancés. And it was like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend is great, but it's like so fun to be fiancés. By the way, we know this now, but you spell fiancé for the guy apparently is one E at the end. Fiancé, one E. And for the girl, it's two E's. Yeah, I had fiance. no idea. I had no and idea. the first one has that little thing accent. And then the... <laughs> This first E, fiance for the for the girl, fiance, and then another E, like ah, oh, what's missing from this word? We add one more. <laughs> <laughs> so then we came home and celebrated and they were all so sweet and we got to tell them the entire story, share all of the details, show Most them the supportive. ring, because yeah, they had amazing. seen pictures of the ring, but no one had ever seen it in person mm -hmm. besides him because he wanted it to be special for me yeah. to be the first one that was saw. Exactly. So we got home and everyone was like, ah! like, you know, so excited for us. Mm -hmm. And then they, they gave us like all gifts. Like it was like all these gifts. And I was like, wow, I had no idea. Like it was like Christmas and birthday all over. I was yeah. like, this is amazing. Like it was, it was super unexpected. So yeah. then we opened it. This was actually one of them. Um, it's a cup that says miss and then crossed out and then misses and there's a ring on it. And so I think Alyssa or Rebecca, I can't remember. Someone gave it to me. It's like this adorable Kate Spade cup. And I need to say, and then I'm wearing this choker, which you can't see, but it's an also, I think, oh, Alyssa gave me this one. So Rebecca maybe gave me that one but it says misses on it and it's like a little choker necklace. And so it's like, oh, all these things. And then we got like other like matching cups, one that says hubby and wifey or something. And then like all this stuff that's like so fun and like things that my mom gave us something that we can stick in our future house. Cause well, we're going to get married. So we're going to live together. <laughs> There's a whole section at Francesca's that I can use now. <laughs> oh my. Well, cause it's like the whole like getting married section, Aww. you know, we always we're have to be like, married. wow, we're not fiancés yet. <laughs> So that's kind of like the big wrap up of the story and we're getting married. We're getting married. What do you think? <laughs> and so you can tell them kind of like what we're doing now. All right. Well, now basically we are full steam ahead planning and I, I we kind of wanted to take little, the first week yeah. to kind of enjoy, which we are planning still, but it's. At least the thought was there. and Because uh, we're going to have another engagement party. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So and, I have to get on it. And it's fantastic and wonderful. And um, so it's been super fun just to talk about those things yeah. and to talk about our future. We've talked about. So we're going to be, we're going to be looking for a place to live. We're going to be looking for a place to get married. We're going to be uh, talking to folks, inviting folks. We're yes. going to be... Hey, if anyone knows a place to get married in San Antonio, they have connections or know someone knows like a really amazing house. Tell us. Tell us. Because <laughs> we're looking for somewhere. Or if you know someone who has... Um, like a um, mother-in-law suite in the back of their house. We would like to live there, so With, tell us yes. that too. So place to live, <laughs> wedding venue, wedding in general, wedding things, honeymoon. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's largely on me. Oh. Y'all, we're gonna go on a honeymoon. That's right, which I'm very excited about. Are you very excited about it? Yes. <laughs> she was mentioning the other day that she's really excited about the honeymoon, not just the wedding. And I thought that that was super sweet. Absolutely. And so, um, and so that's where we're at. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, we talked about finances the other day. That was cool. So, uh, how much?
how much you got saved? Uh, how much you got saved? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. We're so excited. We so officially we are getting married unless something crazy happens. The plan is October 13th. Oh, that's right. Yes, October so, 13th. We're super excited. October that, 13th. Which is I'm really okay, excited about this. I have to tell them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to tell you this. One year to the day that we went on our first date. So our first date was October 13th, 2017. <laughs> 2017. And our marriage date, wedding date, wedding date that we are planning on is October 13th, 2019, which happens to fall. Wait, 2018. Hopefully not 19. 2018. Then. That's right. I hope it's not That's 19. That's right. A small brain slip. Um, 2018. And, um, but I had another thought. Uh, it's 2018 and I lost it. I'm so sorry. I had something in my brain. Anyway, so, so October 13, 2017 yeah. was our first date. For October sure. 13th. I remember. <laughs> It falls on a Saturday. Yes. It's perfect. So October 13th falls on a Saturday, which makes it perfect for getting right. married. So we haven't done, like, I have no idea where we're going to have the wedding yet. I have no idea exactly, like, I don't know. Like, I have no idea what, like, my wedding dress, bridesmaids dresses. I don't know if we're going to have, like, foods, what that's going to look like. I just don't know. I really, we don't really want to have, like, a super traditional wedding where it's like, mm -hmm. okay, everyone, like, line up. Here comes the bride. Brr, 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 brr. We, we want, want it like to a be, cluster wedding. Like <laughs> we want it something. to be really reflective of us. Like, I think he's so amazing. It's like he plays the ukulele. He's more like, um, you know, kind of like spontaneous and fun and dances and like cool like that. Like such a cool personality. And then I'm a little bit more like less inside the box, a little bit more outside the box. We would really love to have a wedding that reflects who we are. And another thing is we want to be like, we want our guests that come to our wedding to feel like they really get to know us better and that they're not just coming and watching a show like we want them to feel like wow they're a part of this moment and they're supporting us like we're sharing you know just all that god's done and we're you know yeah. they're you know as like almost like if it were just like our family but it's a wedding and so that is our hope to figure out a way yeah. to make that happen which i know it's really complicated so that and then just like i would really love to have yeah. a wedding that's not just at like a traditional beep, sure. beep, here's the wedding you know it's like <laughs> i would love <laughs> oh was that a wedding at a traditional beep? <laughs> <laughs> i would love for it to be like i even think it would be amazing if it were like in the backyard of like someone had they had some land yeah. or something beautiful like that it's like so i haven't started even thinking or scoping in that direction but that that would be the dream yeah, i had this to run by you too like we can talk about this now but um <laughs> A lot of weddings will have the unity candle, oh, yeah. right? They'll light a candle together, or light two candles and then light one. I was thinking we could do a unity dab, oh, something like, like that, like together. And then the whole crowd, well, whoever's the there, will be like, whoa, 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 whoa. like, and the camera pulls away and it's like, <laughs> like the end of the Lord of the Rings or something, like, yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> That Wouldn't that be amazing? That's amazing. Confetti. <laughs> Doves. <laughs> Laughter, happiness, mm, children laughing. Maybe we'll take an Instagram poll on that one afterwards. <laughs> I feel like we can decide now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not thinking anything uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm yes. I'm kidding. I tease. I tease. He tees, he I tease. He tees. So we haven't asked any mm -hmm. bridesmaids or groomsmen or anything like that. We'll probably have those. We haven't even got there. So we pretty much have decided on all that, but we haven't taking any steps forward with that. We know who we want our flower girls, ring bearers, everyone like that. We know all of that. Yeah. Um, we just don't know if it will look traditional, like, okay, here come all the flower girls, or if it will look different. But we know we want to have those special people in yeah. our lives, but we don't know exactly what we want it to look like. So, so we're excited. so excited. And I have, like, oh, yeah. an amazing family. He has an amazing family. It's like, we yeah. are so blessed to have people who can just come yeah. alongside us and support us and help us. And I mean, like, my sisters have, like, all these skills, so it's, like, perfect. Yeah. I'm yeah. We're so we're just genuinely thrilled. I um I have been uh, unbelievably blessed by her. Just what she's thinking of when it comes to a wedding, and just like totally like oh, this is gonna be the best wedding ever. Like literally, <laughs> well, we wedding, so. fun <laughs> wedding. You know, I know, but like one that's just fun to you know come to, and that is like I don't know. It's just gonna be unique and fun. I am super excited, and so hopefully we will be able to provide a way for everyone to watch it at some point. 
um, that would be either then or later. So that's a big priority for us is um, either mm -hmm. being able to live stream it or if not live stream it, record it so that we can put something together for everyone to be able to participate in the wedding later. Right. So right. we will make sure that there's a way for everyone to be able to be a part of it because all of y'all and the people who are part of Girl Defined are really special to me and I really don't, I really want everyone to be able to be a part of that moment, yeah. um, whether it's then or later. So I'm really excited about that. So y'all are all invited through that for avenue. Which one of all y'all don't want to see our first kiss together? <laughs> Come on. Come on now. Come on. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? <laughs> I've told Bethany that we're going to be very good at it. Just, just to clear that up. <laughs> We have, we have not kissed yet because um, we are saving that for the very special moment we can kiss when we get married. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But seriously, we're going to rock it. <laughs> I did tell them, I'm like, can we please not have like the most awkward first kiss? Like, mm -hmm. and, like eat her face or just like. <laughs> we're going to try not to do either of those. <laughs> Something in the middle. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I have a friend that's married and she said, you know, God, God created us to know how to kiss. So it will just come from your heart. It'll be great. And I'm like, perfect. Exactly. She's married and she's happy. So I'm Kissing sure Kissing is all about confidence. Uh, we've got anyways. tons of confidence. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so we're really excited, genuinely thrilled. We're really happy to have been able to share the story with y'all and that y'all can be on this journey with us. Mm -hmm. um, and that- yeah, Thank y'all so much. It's really meaningful, right? Yeah. And so. Uh, moving forward, we're just absolutely thrilled to to dive full speed ahead into this season and then get married. That's the goal. We want to get married. We want to live our life together. And from there, we want to just serve God and love each other. And uh, who knows? Have a larger family down the road. Have, Never know. I want all the kids to look like him. Yeah, and I want all the kids to look like her. So we're even. Yeah. So... Cute. so so we're really excited. We're so excited. We've covered so much of like, as far as like counselings and preparations, we've done a lot of that before engagement. And I feel like I had probably the most brains back then. And now I'm just like, ah, you know, so excited. So I'm excited <laughs> that we've done a lot of that and we feel really confident and prepared and feel like we want to keep learning though. Sure, and so it's a yeah. never ending journey. Even when we get married, we don't want to stop learning. We want to continue to seek wisdom and counsel and we want to continue to grow and read books and learn how to be a good wife and a good husband because we've never been one before. And so and and wife. The husband and wife. This is true. <laughs> we want to work hard at it because marriage doesn't just good marriages don't just like fall out of nowhere. Like they take work and effort just like anything. And so we want to work hard to have a good marriage. And we just want y'all to know that we've so loved having you along for the entire journey so far and that we want to keep to invite you to continue this journey with us and we will keep you updated in the loop um, on our engagement and the whole process. And I just hope that it can be encouraging to y'all, especially if you're a girl who's wondering if she's ever gonna get married. I was there for so many years and I'm really thankful, like I cannot tell you how thankful I am to have waited for a man that is so godly, is my best friend, that I feel so excited to be with and that I want to commit my life to. Like I want to commit my life to being with Dave and to being mm -hmm. his wife. And so I would just encourage you girls not to settle and not to mm -hmm. like just pick up the next guy that comes along because you're desperate. Like mm -hmm. don't be, it's so much better to be single until it's the right time. Mm -hmm. Like I loved my life before and I was so happy, so joyful, so content. And I love my life now, but it's, you know, even though he's so amazing, it's like ultimately for both of us, Christ is our satisfaction right. and he's the reason we have a good relationship. He's the reason we can be so genuinely just joyful and excited, like genuinely because we're both really looking to him and that gives us so much to give each other. That's true. Absolutely. That, that is, um, ultimately we got to have our source in him or else we don't have anything to give to one another. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, and that's the thing is as, as, uh, God leads us into more and more and more, more complexity as life becomes more complicated and more busy, he'll give us the energy and the strength and spiritual strength from himself to be able to rise to each of those changes and be new able changes. to mm -hmm. new changes and seasons and be able to um, do it with uh, joy and with dedication and uh, 
not at all get crushed by the new life you get you basically do it out of joy and he gives you that strength mm -hmm. so you never have to look ahead and get overwhelmed that something had to happen because he gives mercy every day for each he says his mercies are new every morning mm -hmm. and so we're going to be living according to that truth and uh that means that our yes. relationship is going to be absolutely amazing because mm -hmm. our trust is in christ totally Whatever we have happens, yeah 20 seconds left now, so we are going to say goodbye. Thank you all so much for sticking with us and watching this entire video and hearing our whole story. Thank you for asking me to marry you. Absolutely, babe. Thanks for saying, of course. I will say yes every single day for the rest of my life. Bethany, Lynn, I love you. Will you marry me? Of course, babe. <laughs> Thank you all so much, and we can't wait to see you all again. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end. That one went, and I'm going to end YouTube um, if I can figure this out. Oops.